Hey everybody, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I have a project share to share with you and I use this stamp set called Happy Mail from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I purchased this a little while ago and it's so adorable. I had to use it and uh, make some cards with it so I'm super excited to share with you guys. I also use the Gina Marie cross-stitched uh, die set that I have, nesting die set. And I also use the MFT Dynamics little flags um, to put what's intimate in, in one of the cards. Okay, so those are the two, uh, three products that I use. Mostly I wanted to share with you the stamp set. And uh, so this is the card that I made with that. I shared this over on my Facebook page and uh, I also shared it over in the Not Too Shabby Shop uh, scrap, scrap and Stampers on Facebook group. I also shared it over there. Now this card has lots of layers. Um, first of all, the first layer down is um, some watercolor paper that I had. And uh, then this heart in the background, this heart, this is a die that I have and it cuts out just the background of a heart. It was very, very hard to get that cut out. Um, in places it broke in pieces. Um, it's very, very, very delicate. Um, but I wasn't able to get it to go down the bottom and over the top. This little piece of paper is from a Valentine's uh, paper pad and it just has like a crown and some uh, Paris writing on it. And I put that behind this layer. And then this is where I use the cross stitch rectangles. And then I put the sentiment in this uh, stamp set. There's one that says happy and then one mail. So I just put happy mail. And there's that little flag from the MFT Dynamics. And then I colored my cute little boy and girl with the Copics. And then here's a little mailbox. So it says happy mail. So I will use this to share happy mail with one of my subscribers or friends and then the inside looks like that so there was the other piece of that um, heart background that broke it broke off so I just kind of put it at the bottom there and there's plenty of room to write a note so that is the card that I made and then I decided because it says happy mail to make a few little extras and so I can throw into happy mail and I use those I, do you remember me sharing with you um, these little sets that I have? They're like, um, it's like a memory dex card, but it opens like this, and it has a matching envelope. So I've been using these and just cutting off the uh, index part of it and just using the base for my card. I have these in um, a whole bunch of different colors. Um, dark pink, teal, orange, green, blue, red, and black. So I want to start using some of these up. Um, I think they're originally from Doodlebug. I'm not real sure. I got them from a friend. So this is the cute little card that I did with that with one of those sets. And I colored this little girl with gray hair. Super cute. And I did her with the purples. Used the Copics. <coughs> I also used my glitter gel pens. And then I made a gravel bottom. And then that's the inside. So I could just write a cute little note. And this would be, this is going to be really, really cute to throw into the Happy Mail. So I made that one. And um, I'm trying to make it so you guys can see these. I made this one here with blonde hair and peach backgrounds and hearts and that's the inside so it just says happy mail and then I made this one with the pink and this one I don't think I put anything oh this opens from the side and I didn't put anything in it because it's light pink you can just write your note inside it just says happy mail and then this one um, I I don't know why but I cut off the other end of it and um, just so you can write in the back so it doesn't open as a card you would just be able to write your note on the back this says happy mail and I put a little bow here and a couple enamel dots 
And these little envelopes I color with my neon markers that I just recently picked up. Copics has uh, a little neon um, collection. So I use those. Here, I'll show you. These are the neon colors from Copics. And I just finished my collection um, of those. So I wanted to share uh, or use them. And so the envelopes are colored with those neons. So those are my cards that I made with this stamp set. And if you're looking for this stamp set, you can go over to the Not Too Shabby Shop and pick it up. This is one of Jamie's um, stamps that she has. She has her own stamp line, and she has like a couple different artists. And so you can pick this up over there. So I'll leave the link down below for Jamie's shop if you're interested in getting that stamp set. And um, I hope you enjoyed my cards, and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. God bless.